Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, I want to start with you uh, over here just with a blessing. And so this is a friend's basically picture of their baby in their womb. So as they do, and I'm doing this for a reason, as we look at what's coming, keep an open mind. You know, so isn't this amazing detail we're getting right here with the sonogram? You could see the face. I mean, isn't technology amazing? Look at the face, right? Inside the womb still. It's beautiful. And so I wanted to share that with you because I have talked about Allison, uh, Allison who does these spirit photos through the medium of just water in a silver or metallic bowl with some quartz crystal I think she said she uses rose quartz too and selenite and basically stirs it and then she gets photos like this so when we're looking at the face of the baby is that not very similar to what we're seeing here isn't this perhaps a similar medium now this photo came about when we asked we wanted to see what the Anunnaki looked like so this photo came about when we asked about the Anunnaki. And we could see the eyes, kind of a nose, kind of a mouth nose. Uh, can you, you know, maybe you guys uh, have a clearer picture than I do, but I could definitely see out a face here. And then if you look way in the back here, look at this eye just staring at you from back here. Pretty cool stuff. And so are we looking at the Anunnaki? My gut is I think we are but hey everybody has to make their own decision up and so this is another one can you see the face is in here I see more than one face there's a face right here and again this one came up when we said let's see what the Anunnaki look like and look at the bubble inside here with the face inside the bubble isn't that pretty amazing look at that face there and then the face here and then there's another eye over here now this almost looks like a gray alien it looks more to me like what they call an Eben which I actually saw one of these guys up and close and personal a couple of times when I was a child growing up and I've shared that with you before and here's yet another when we asked to see Anunnaki and what they look like look at the eye the head little nose and a mouth it looks to be another eye up in here too I can see another eye there too so pretty cool and here is a face and this one is definitely human and you could see the face the, the lips the nose the eyes so it's interesting it's almost like a technique it, where you could do a sonogram and see inside a body you could see inside the other dimensions because these are all uh, these are all just differences in dimensions what we're talking about here and here is a face now allison saw a little girl i see a little boy what do you guys see i see a nose right there a mouth and eyes And here are some of the newest ones that she just sent me. Obviously, it's an older woman to me. And there looks like there's somebody here in the background. That almost looks like a hand staying right up in the air. This almost looks like a monkey-ish to me. It does. With the hand up in the air. Pretty cool. And that is clearly a woman. I would say she's in her late 70s, maybe early 80s. Here's yet another. Pretty easy to make that out. Long black hair or dark brown maybe. And then here's another face I think down in here it looks. And this looks like a horse. You see it? And in the eye, it looks like there's a reflection of another being, maybe a human. I don't know. It's curious. It's interesting. And what do we have over here? And here. Here, I almost see like a lion, right? Or a tiger or something. 
Very, very interesting. Let's see, we'll go up to this one. And here's another that feels to me like a woman. She seems to be kind of laughing. But then it's almost like this part of her face is like maybe her pet dog. <laughs> you know, it's like kind of like a woman, and then yet her dog is morphed into her. It's so interesting. And I wonder if we adjust. Now it looks more like just a dog <laughs> to me. A little more clarity. I don't know. That's interesting. And I look forward to what you guys think of all these. We have some other pictures that we're going to look at. There's another face, weather related, possibly craft related. So you guys see the face here. I don't know why I think of Whistler's mother with this one or something. That's another woman. See her nose right there, her eyes. Let's see if we adjust a little bit of the color on this. See if we get a little bit sharper, a little more clarity. What do you guys think? What do you see? That one's pretty clear to me too. So again, this is just basically a metallic bowl with water, crystals inside it. Crystals can act as conductors and transistors and do um, my meditation and my daily mantras usually using crystals around me and they just amplify things as we see another face right there. And that's a pretty clear photo. Pretty cool. Looks like a female face to me. Here's another one. You can see that pretty clear too. Her mouth is open. There's her nose. And so you guys see a triangle in this one. See that triangular shape right there? And what else do you guys see? There's a lot of times you guys catch stuff I miss here. And then this one, he sent it saying they started to manifest. And so I see a shape here that, honestly, to me, it, my initial feeling was perhaps reptilian. So William sent this one in. It definitely looks kind of a, like a humanoid shape taking form. And I could almost make out like an eye there. Feels reptilian to me. So what do you guys think of that one? Okay, that's the last of those. And then check this one out. This was from Tammy. Pretty intense wild sky. And then she sent a video to go along with it that's really kind of curious. As you look in here, I don't know, it does look like there could be a triangular, maybe ship, somewhat cloaked. And there's kind of a circular thing too, and then just the lightning is curious. There's no real thunder going.
you know, if we're talking close encounters of the third kind, I could kind of start thinking there's something up and in there. <laughs> you know, all the lightning seems to be centered around that area. So is that like some sort of plasma discharge? Is it a ship like sucking energy out of the uh, atmosphere? Look at the lightning. It's really curious. And that looks like a dark triangular form up in there. Is there something up there? And is the lightning because of it? What do you guys think? That's interesting. Yeah, that's that's definitely interesting. Now this, um, I couldn't definitively get an answer, and so I'll let you guys look at it. Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say a drone. It almost looks like something dropped off of it there, didn't it? It's so weird. So weird. So, yeah, not not sure on that one. And then this one, this is a um, security cam. Just check it out. Are those bugs? You know, some people say those are just bugs. Just bugs in the camera. What do you think we're seeing with this? Is it airplanes? Kind of weird flight patterns going into the ground. So <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you make of this? I, uh, I'm speechless here. So, is it just moths and things like that? What do you guys think? As always, my friends, I look forward to your comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you click the bell, get all the notifications. Thank you guys so much for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. And as always, God bless and namaste.